Hello, I'm Renee Seiler, an ambassador with Susan G. Komen for the Cure Foundation and someone who knows a lot about breast cancer. I've seen it up close and personal. Both my mother and father had the disease. You perhaps have heard by now that one in eight women will develop the disease at some point in her lifetime, but what exactly does that mean? Here to help you assess your risk is Dr. Ann Moore. She's the medical director of the breast oncology program at Weill Cornell Medical College. Dr. Moore. Good to see you. Thank you, Renee. What are some of the factors that influence a person's chance of getting breast cancer? Well, the first, the first factor is, is that she's a woman. That, of course, is the highest risk, although we see breast cancer in men. And about one in a hundred of our patients will be a male patient, and it always takes the men by surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, the second uh, uh, increased risk is family history. Most women with breast cancer do not have a positive family history, but a woman who has a sister or a mother or a daughter who's had breast cancer is at increased risk. And we can't forget the father's family, too. If a, if a woman's father's family has breast cancer, she also could inherit a, a risk for breast cancer. But even if you have that, that family link, most breast cancers sort of come out of the blue, do they most not? Most breast cancers come right out of the blue. And a typical woman will say, I can't believe I got breast cancer. Nobody in my family has had it. And that is typical rather than unusual. But if you do have a family member on your father's side, your mother's side, in my case I had a mother and father, um, what does that do to your risk? Does it increase exponentially? It increases your risk. If, you, uh, if the family carries a gene mutation, the BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation, we can actually calculate more or less what the risk would be. Mm -hmm. There are many families where there's just a lot of breast cancer and they don't have the gene mutation. We know those families are still at risk. We can't calculate it as well as we can for the women who carry the gene mutation. As a doctor, if you saw a woman who had a breast cancer on every level of, of her family tree, you would suggest seeing a geneticist or a genetic I counselor? would. I would, because I think in this case, the more information you have, the better you can make, make decisions. If you do have a family history, do you need to be screened more often? With our mutation carriers, who really are quite high risk to get breast cancer, we, we start screening them very early at the age of 25. We add MRI quite often to their screening, and we certainly do recommend the annual mammogram. In terms of ethnicity, is there, is there a link there at all? Are African American women more prone to breast cancer than Anglo women? Well, again, from the, from the gene mutations, from the BRCA1 and BRCA2 studies, we do see that, there, for instance, women of Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry have a slightly higher risk of having the gene mutation, but any group of women, African American, Asian, uh, can have the gene mutation also. In terms of what we can do, you know, your, your genes, it's the luck of the draw, you know, you're, you're at the mercy of your family. But in terms of diet and lifestyle, there are some things we can do. I would imagine not smoking is a, is a big one. Not smoking is key for everything. Mm -hmm. There's no question about that. Uh, it is important both the diet and exercise turn out to be important in breast cancer. Women who, who keep thin, who stay on a low-fat diet, have a lower risk for breast cancer as they get older. And women who exercise have a lower risk. And it doesn't have to be a lot of exercise, mm -hmm. but, but moderate exercise lowers the risk for breast cancer. Eat right, don't smoke, get out there and do something. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, one in eight women, I think, is the statistic in terms of, of breast cancer. Is that correct? That's one the one eight. we hear, one in eight. But when we use the one in eight figure, it's really one in eight women who live to be 95 years old will get breast cancer. Most, most women will not. So if we have a room of 50-year-old women, most of them are not. It's not one in eight. Most of those women will die before 95 most commonly of heart disease. Mm. So that's a, a little bit, uh, it's important to understand that one in eight statistic. Dr. Moore, thank you. Okay. For more information, you can visit the Susan G. Komen for the Cure website at www.komen.org, or you can call their helpline at 1-800-I'm-Aware. I'm Renee Seiler.